Sunday, May 5th, Comet Palms Brook is now entering Eridanus, the river. The snake starts right here by Constellation Orion by Regal, which I'll, I'll touch upon that in later videos. Remember, the close rendezvous is June 2nd to Earth. So now is in the snake, the constellation. And we have all the planets basically lined up here. We got, I mean, the moon and Mars together. We got Neptune in there. We got Mercury. We, we basically got them all except Pluto. That's where it's at. Now, this article came out Thursday, May 2nd, and it talks about the tail. This is from Space Weather. It talks about the tail and how it was photographed on the 30th by Michael, and it shows that most of the ripples and streamers captured so beautifully in Michael's photo was caused by buffling of the solar winds. Not only that, the comet's tail is pointing directly away from the sun, Another sign that, so we take a closer look. Okay, here it is, pointing north. Let's, let's make sure. North is up. The blue tail, the blue ion tail is incredibly active, separated. The yellow dust tail has sharp curvatures towards the north. So here's the ion tail, and here's that streamer pointing northward, and here's the dust tail right here. We still got that feature. Let's look at it. Okay, here you can see the feature that I've been basically harping on for a long time since we don't have close-ups and we're depending on just the amateurs, astronomers, to provide the features still there. It's like a pipeline right there. If you look at where my pointer's at. It's moving southward in this direction. The sun is in this direction. The sun's in that direction. And this is pointing north and it's heading southward in this direction. But what I'm talking about is this feature right here right there like a square i already pointed it out on all the other videos so i guess it'll remain a mystery looking at the sky this the 3d on the 5th of may just take a look that's where it's located at there's earth right here okay so the image that we're getting right here we have this is north we have that tail that i don't want to say anti-tail because if it was an anti-tail now, if it was an anti-tail, we'll have a connection from here to here. But we have that pointing northward, that distortion northward, and there's no planet north of it. The image that we're looking, we're looking at the gases going this way, but we have that feature pointing up here. There's no object near there, because if it was an anti-tail, it'll be showing something like this, but it's not. Maybe it's just a downward momentum. Who knows what it is, since we don't have no close-up we don't really know what's really happening behind the behind the scenes look at some other images okay let's check out check out the russian side see what we have here okay here's north let's make it bigger comet central here's the ion tail dust tail board diffuse when was this oh this is april 30th okay this inspection this connection concentration so we have that pointing northward check out some others okay this on the fourth take a look at this okay north North is this way. This was taken on the 30th from Australia. And we have that, that area of interest. This one was taken, but here you clearly can see the dust distribution over here. And this pointing northward. Hmm, why would it do that? Okay, that was submitted on the 3rd. Okay, this one was on the 1st. There again, that area of interest, the way it just curves. And then you can see a, some sort of distortion right here. Huh. I don't know what to make of it. Okay, we got this circular distortion. Okay, this is from New Zealand on the 29th. Let's take a closer look. See, again, this gentleman, that distortion. It just... And this distortion right here. Remember, sometimes they can't post what they see because they could get in trouble. I mean... There's been stories about a lot of past astronomers having accidents. I guess they got the message, be careful what you post, especially when there's a blackout from the observatory in spacecrafts. Hmm. Okay, Nesto from Chile, 11 hours ago, posted this. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so, zoom out. Again, you can see the features right here, the way it just like squ square, like a, think of it like a pipeline. Then it just goes around and it squirts out. So this one's from Chile. Okay, this one was five hours ago from Michael Yeager. Look at that. Let's zoom in. Expanded. Again, that 
just it don't make no sense because okay right here this object right here is squirting out there's like a void right here you see like a square i've been like i said we're not gonna know but if they say there's an object here that would that like a secondary object it would do that characteristics see what see the ballish circleish object right there and it just squirts out from this location so there's a void and this is shooting northward the dust and all that as it as it moves downward okay there's more we did this a day ago basically the same i mean just squirting out the dust on the northern part okay we got a3 and all their attention is being focused on a3 remember a3 it's a giant it, it there's no way there'll be this this definitely you will see in the night sky no doubt i'll be like how about i mean other astronomers a day ago rob posted that let's take a look at rob same thing remember these are different astronomers from different location basically catching the same same thing here north is north is this way so there we have it eridanus it's in the constellation eridanus a lot of mythology a lot of ancient history a lot of stories about eridanus and orion pretty soon it'll be right near orion so that's that's what we have on comet 12p comet a3 the giant it's on its way so i don't see no anti-tail it kind of looks like at first i thought it was an anti-tail but like i said this is the first time i didn't expect this blackout from the observatories and spacecraft and space agency i thought when i was doing this it would be like the other comets the ones that never got attention where well, we we got images close-ups but this one no quiere they don't want to you to see the close-up okay remember june 2nd there's a lot of signs in the also with the taurus constellation on june 2nd where we got a cluster of five planets in the, in the sun in taurus so that's what i have so far until next time red father out